first time round. Well, it wasn't. It started peacefully and the Israelis cracked down. Same thing happened in New York. It started peacefully. The police have cracked down. Did you see the images last night, Piers, of police pushing protesters downstairs? Surely you don't agree with that. I saw one of the protesters making a speech in which she demanded humanitarian aid uh, because they were all hungry. That's not what I asked, Piers. Nice deflection. Did you see the student being thrown downstairs? Did you uh, see the professor I've not seen, at Emory I've, well, being on. assaulted by the police? I've not seen the piece of footage you're talking about. I did see the, the police forcefully throw them all out. And I think it was long overdue, yeah. When, you, when students break into see, a building, support, when they commit maybe, vandalism... Oh hang on, when they commit vandalism, trespass, they hold people against their wishes, right? They're going to face potential criminal like all charges. all protests throughout history, Piers. Well, hold on. Like they the may, Vietnam they War may protests, well like face, the civil rights protests, they may like well the face criminal. Protests. They might, might face well, criminal I prosecution. I thought this show is for called it. Uncensored. Yes. Maybe you should read a bit Piers Morgan censored if you're in favour of cracking down <laughs> on protests. <laughs> things before we finish. Yeah. Very quickly. One is, I hope you do write a column about what's happening to pro-Palestinian students, including Jewish students. Mm. The violence that's been meted out to them at places like UCLA, Emory. I don't know if you've seen the scenes from UT Austin, where Governor Greg Abbott has basically sent in a fascist paramilitary-looking police force to crack heads, right? I hope you'll condemn that in the interest of free speech. And number two, look, we can argue all day about broken windows at Columbia University. I don't support violence. I don't support mm. property damage. That's my own personal thing. But I know there's a history of doing that in good causes. But the reality is some gr broken glass at Columbia University by people who are protesting a war in which every single one of Gaza's 12 universities have been destroyed or damaged. More than 200 here's the point, educators in Gaza killed. More than 4,000 students killed. Yeah. Here's the point, though. This has been a massive distraction from the war. And that's my other problem with it, is you've got a bunch of students in New York causing you know, merry hell, distracting everyone's attention well, from what is actual, the, genuine merry no. hell for people in Gaza. Actually, it's, well, it's not merry hell. That's, that's a right-wing media take on what's been going on. I I'm don't not right wing. your depiction of it. I say, I'm been, not right wing. I've been, I've been to the... I didn't say you. I didn't say you were. I said that's the right-wing media depiction of it. Well, I and just I've said I've been it. to college campuses where this is going on. Well, I was at a college campus on Saturday, Piers. Were you? There was no violence. There was no merry hell. So that's a smear. Last 48 hours, there has been merry hell there. Yeah, there has. Not at the college campus I was at. There's dozens of campuses all over the country. And at Columbia, the hell is from the police. There are lots of universities, Piers, where this is not kicking off because the university administrators have been smart. They've talked to students. They've listened to their demands. Their demands, by the way, is not interfar. Their demand is for divestment from companies profiting off of Israel, a reasonable demand. In other places like MIT, Brandeis, other universities, they've actually talked to students. It's in Columbia where this insane president who should quit decided to call in the police outrageously. Maddie, on a positive note, I've been following your new media venture, uh, Zateo, with great interest, and I think you're really killing it. I think it's been great. Um, very lively, very provocative. Thank you so much. Lots of good names. And I salute you for showing, as I think we do here, a, a different way of doing things in the media landscape now. So congratulations on a great start. Thank you so much. We will, both of us, continue to do different things going forward. That's the future. And you can always be a guest.